I like to think that if I have encountered any prejudice in my life as a woman composer, that it has been balanced out by the opportunities that have been created by that very thing. Uh, there are women-only competitions. There are women-only performance opportunities. Um, and, uh, of course, there is now a very strong network of women composers in this country and also abroad, um, so that uh, there is a lot of mentoring going on, particularly of women composers. So that, again, one looks back on a career and one looks back on a life and it's, you, you may think, well, I'm not sure about that particular instance if that was a situation where perhaps I was, you know, passed over and, and if that, the fact that I was a woman was playing into it somehow. I tend not to go there, um, both philosophically and um, I think from a, from a courage standpoint, I think it's best not to think about that. And as I say, just presume that if that ever has happened, it's been balanced out somehow. I have certainly had a lot of help in my career. I have had people that have believed in me very deeply. I have had very good friends who have helped me enormously. So I can't complain about anything that may have happened on the other side. I've been very, very lucky to have been supported by women and men alike. Um, and extraordinarily gifted people, as I mentioned, Don Joan Tower, Bernard Rands has been a tremendous mentor as well, Chinri Ong. Um, my colleague, Morton Lordson, has been a guiding factor in my career. So um, I've had help from, from all genders, all generations, and, uh, and I think I just prefer to think of it that way. <laughs>